Prescribed fire is really important for the Pine Rockland system because a lot of the species that are, are native and endemic to Pine Rockland require fire um, as part of their life history. We're trying to do in our lab this research that kind of synthesizes how Pine Rocklands are changing, factors that lead to their kind of collapse and degradation, or factors that lead to their, their maintenance and restoration. So when Pine Rocklands don't burn, they succeed into hardwood hammocks, which are also really cool habitats and have unique species, but originally in South Florida, due to fire, there was kind of this mosaic of pine rockland and, um, and uh, hammock systems that was governed by the natural fire regime. And so by maintaining fires on a regular basis or having a fire management program, you kind of allow the, the pine rockland species that require this more open ecosystem um, to persist in the system. Um, the best case scenario is that we maintain this pineland, we restore it in as pristine a uh, a situation as possible. There's about 4% of the Pine Rockland left in Florida, 2% outside the Everglades National Park is a highly endangered uh, habitat. Uh, there's many plant species and animal species that are, that are endangered uh, that are uh, on the verge of extinction. So if this habitat um, it becomes extinct, we're going to lose a lot of plant species. What we'll do is the plots that we've set out in all of these kind of like Pine Rockland habitat, hammock habitat, and then the scraped habitat will mount monitor for the next year to see how species come back into these areas, whether habitats that we thought might not be as nice as they should be are restored with fire and look at it long term with repeated fires and really see how pine rocklands come together, how species are related, and understand better what we can do for other pine rocklands based on what we see at Trek. Uh, Dr. Ben Baser and I, uh, we've teamed up to collect similar data. We've used the NEON sampling protocol for plant diversity uh, in order to collect uh, plant species in Pine Rockland. That's sort of his work, and my work is out in the remainder of Trek in the agricultural areas. And so we're able to compare what is the composition of species in the natural area and what is the composition of species in the uh, managed area and where are they going, where are they coming from, uh, how are they interacting as a larger system. If we kind of went a, a laissez-faire, hands-off approach, um, we could be losing a lot of the local biodiversity. Pine Rockland is kind of a uh, part of this, this landscape, part of this ecosystem. Um, and I think that the more we can uh, let people know how unique this ecosystem is, that there are plants that are only found here in Miami-Dade County in Pine Rocklands, the more people will be passionate about it and kind of have a, an approach where, you know, they'll think, well, not on my watch is a species going to go extinct in my backyard or is an ecosystem going to go away because you have to realize that these pine rocklands are in all the parks in Miami-Dade County. When, when kids go to the park, when you play basketball, your basketball rolls off the court into a pine rockland. When you hit a baseball and when you hit a home run, it goes over the fence into a pine rockland. And so these, uh, this ecosystem is kind of everywhere in people's lives.